Arthur. Now this I can work with. Howdy, viewers, and thank you for returning, and if you have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In some cases, before you go to that blog and play John, there are a few requirements for completing clothing or satchels from the Trapper or Pearson that require an iguana skin. Well, I'm showing you how to get that iguana skin. And it involves swimming your horse to an island off Point Clemens and hunting iguanas. This is the only place you can get iguanas that are not in the southwest, which is in, you know um, blocked off from Arthur Morgan getting to. And your horse is going to run out of stamina. So before you go swimming, boost up your horse's stamina. The closest point to point is right where I'm showing you where the player is located. And you can swim to the island from that point to the point that you can see. They're just a short distance away. Again, you want to boost your horse's stamina up before you go swimming. And you don't want to camp on the island because if you try and camp, it puts you to the point where I just showed you. Which is, again, a short swim for the horse. It runs out of stamina quickly. I didn't boost up its stamina. What you want to do is feed it some carrots or vegetables that boost up its stamina core. Then hit it with a stamina tonic and you'll be able to get over to the, to the island. And I'm starting from here. I probably should have started at a different point. Once you get to the island, you can begin hunting iguanas using the varmint rifle. But again, I'm going to boost up my horse's stamina. And she's struggling right now. Good horse. And then I'm going to hit her with the stamina boosting toxin or tonic or whatever the heck it is and that way she's going to be fully charged up but reality is when you're on the island after you're done hunting you just camp and it'll automatically bring you to that point i'd shown you previously You want to kind of go to the northeast tip of the island. There's a bunch of herbs and other stuff on this island as well. And some other small type game, such as crabs, toads, um, turtles. But yeah, you go to the northern tip. They're sometimes hiding around in the woods, but that's where you will find iguanas. There's some seagulls and a alligator snapping turtle but so far no iguanas this is turning out to be very disappointing a perfect muskrat pelt and some crab meat who doesn't want that yeah Again, there's a lot of small animals on this island, and you can get, a again, a perfect muskrat pelt and some crab meat and wind up with some decent stuff. Now, still haven't found any iguanas yet. Yeah, so far no iguanas in this one. That's the problem with a rifle. I turned a good iguana into a bad iguana. Or actually a perfect iguana into... Yeah. 
a poor iguana skin. Now I got to continue hunting because to be honest with you, you might as well just discard poor skins. I have a good one from a previous hunt and I figured I'd show you how to get iguanas and now I'm running dry. You can see a bunch of them out there swimming around. You can track them down and hopefully they come to land or you can just keep exploring this how shall I say island? Ooh, wait, here's one. This could be it. And oh, let him go. He's not perfect. And again, you want to explore this island. I'm going to run around and see what I can find and wait until more iguanas come back to the shore. On this island is a wrecked ship. You can explore that. There's supposed to be some sort of um, pirate rum or something in it, but I didn't find it while exploring this wreck. Let's go take a look. Yeah, that was a bust. So I'm looking around. There's nothing else. I'm going to continue to explore the island and hopefully find an iguana. That was a toad, not an iguana. And it wasn't a very good toad either. So let's go back and see if we can get an iguana. I did manage to take down some ducks, but no iguanas, and this is getting frustrating. Finally, a perfect iguana skin. Now I can get back to Pearson and have him fashion me a perfect satchel or whatever the heck I need. And yeah, if you have to get something for the trapper and you need a perfect iguana skin, well, this is the place to find it. You gotta hunt around a little bit, but this island is worth the effort. Now, if you want to get back to the mainland without having your horse swim, all you have to do is camp and you'll be teleported to that point I showed you earlier. And then you can go and go, go to Pearson or the Trapper and you turn in your iguana skin to make something, to craft something. I'm going to show you the whole... Um, camping teleportation now. You're automatically teleported to the mainland and you can then leave, cook, whatever you want to do, Travel back and get your iguana skin made into something. I'm making some arrows here. And then, yeah, you're in good shape. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you want me to try and look into something, let me know. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos involving video games a week as well as some shorts. You want to stay informed. And, you know, that helps out the channel. It costs nothing. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.